Have you ever read a news article that seemed too good to be true? Maybe you found yourself questioning how correct the media's report was, but didn't know if your skepticism was justified. Initially, many media reports are very encouraging, but it is important that news articles are scrutinized and compared to the primary research article on which they are based. Recent reports in the Israeli Times suggest that starving cells of oxygen can help kill cancers, and that growing T-cells in an oxygen-poor environment can turn them into more effective killers. Let's examine this media report from a critical perspective to determine its accuracy. Before we dwell into the media article, let's explore what the immune system is and how killer T-cells function in cancer immunotherapy. So first, what is the immune system? The immune system is made up of special cells, proteins, tissues, and organs that protect the body from microorganisms that cause infection and disease. The immune system attacks organisms that invade the body through a series of steps called an immune response. The immune response can be broken down into two branches, the innate and the adaptive immune response. The innate immune response is the body's first line of defense that acts as a physical, mechanical, or chemical barrier to invaders. An example of innate immunity is the skin, an external barrier that prevents pathogens from entering the body. The adaptive immune system involves white blood cells, which develop throughout an individual's life as they are exposed to different microorganisms that cause disease. A type of white blood cell that targets cancer cells, cells that are damaged, or cells that are infected by viruses, are known as killer T cells. Killer T cells kill cells in a very organized, neat fashion. Killer T cells use two primary mechanisms to kill target cancer cells. The first mechanism is known as the fast-mediated pathway. The second mechanism is known as the paraffin granzyme pathway. The first mechanism is known to as the kiss of death because the killer T cells binds a molecule called FAST to a receptor on the target cell, known as a death receptor. After the FAST molecule binds to the target cell receptor and causes the cell to die, the second mechanism occurs when the T cells releases paraffin and granzyme. Paraffin punches a hole in the target cell, which allows for both the activation and the entry of granzyme, an enzyme that kills the target cell. Cancer immunotherapy is a therapy that uses an individual's immune system to kill cancer. Cancer immunotherapy often employs killer T cells, as killer T cells specifically target cancer cells in the body. Researchers can separate killer T cells from other cells in the body, grow these cells in the lab, and then reintroduce them back into cancer patients through cancer immunotherapy. The primary research article by Guy Shakar and his research team at the Wiseman Institute noted that the low oxygen environment of the tumor is one of the factors that prevents killer T cells from functioning properly in tumors. To research the efficacy of killer T cells in a low oxygen environment, researchers isolated killer T cells from the spleen of mice and grew the killer T cells for five days under normal atmospheric pressure, 20% O2, and in low oxygen conditions, 1% O2. This generated two groups, the low oxygen killer T cell group and a controlled killer T cell group. The researchers then reintroduced the cultured killer T cells back into the mice with tumors and saw that the tumor shrank more significantly in the mice injected with the killer T cells, grown in a low oxygen environment when compared to the control mice group injected with killer T cells grown in a normal oxygen environment. When researchers examined the difference between the low oxygen T cells and the normal killer T cells, they discovered that the low oxygen killer T cells contain more granzyme, the enzyme that facilitates the killing of cancer cells, when compared to the normal killer T cells. Therefore, researchers concluded that mice treated with low oxygen killer T cells survive longer inside the tumor microenvironment and that growing tumors in a low oxygen environment had potential to improve parent cancer immunotherapies. The news article presented an overly simplistic report of Shakar and colleagues' findings on many occasions did not portray the content of the primary article accurately. Firstly, the news article only described the killer T cells in defending the body against cancer. Since the news articles did not mention the different components of the immune response, namely the cells from both the innate and the adaptive immune system that work together to prevent cancer. Additionally, the mechanism through which killer T cells destroy cancer cells was not clearly explained. The only explanation that was given was that the T cells were foot soldiers of cancer immunotherapy and that they had a deadly punch. But from our review, we know that the killer T cells kill through two well established mechanisms the fast mediated pathway and the periphery granzyme pathway. Additionally, the article mentioned paraffin but did not fully explain the role of paraffin, just that it penetrated tumor cell walls. 
In actuality, we know that paraffin is not limited to this role. It also facilitates the activation of granzyme. Notably, the use article also did not mention granzyme anywhere in the article. However, granzyme was the enzyme that the primary research paper reported was increased and responsible for the improvement for the low oxygen protein cells function. The article also did not describe the primary paper, paper methods correctly as it discussed the control group as a comparator. The news article stated that the control group included mice not injected with any T cells, but did not mention the control of mice injected with killer T cells grown under normal oxygen conditions. This is especially pertinent because the primary paper's aim was to examine the efficacy of low oxygen killer T cells compared to normal oxygen killer T cells. Although killer T cells grown in low oxygen environments may be more effective in attacking tumors, primary researchers noted that more studies must be conducted in order to assess this phenomenon. Overall, the news article presented a simplistic explanation of the primary research article and inaccurately represented methods employed by and key findings discovered by researchers. Therefore, it is always essential that media reports are examined from a critical viewpoint to ensure that the public is not presented with an overly optimistic, skewed report of the scientific literature.